first part of chapter 16, properties of acids and bases, we're going to talk about the two models of the acid and base uh, compounds and understand the relationship of a conjugate acid conjugate base pair. This is called the Arrhenius model. This is Mr. Arrhenius. He says that acids produce hydrogen ions and aqueous solutions. He also said that bases produced hydroxide ions and aqueous solution. If you notice in the picture, he doesn't really look too happy about it. So some common household acids and bases. We have acids such as baking soda, lemon juice, um, vitamin C, and the bases would be like drain cleaner, um, wood cleaner or floor cleaner, oven cleaner, and baking soda. There's another model called the Bronsted-Lowry model. And this is Mr. Bronsted, and this is Mr. Lowry, 1923. They defined an acid as a proton donor and a base as a proton acceptor. So the general re reaction for an acid dissolving in water is going to be the dissociation of an acid, which is hydrogen plus the acid, with water being the base in this case. And they um, denoted these as a conjugate acid or a conjugate base. For the acid was a proton donor, so the acid on the left-hand side gave up its proton and it um, became negative. That proton went to the water, which was the base, because it was the proton acceptor. So every acid, according to Bronson and Lowry, has a conjugate base, and every base has a conjugate acid. Okay, let's look at the conjugate acid-base pair. And remember, this is the uh, theory according to the Bronsted-Lowry model. So, for example, the HA would be HCl, so hydrochloric acid, and it is our proton donor. Then we have, and it's going to donate this H and become Cl- minus over here. So, this is our acid because it's a proton donor. This is its conjugate base because if we reverse this reaction, this would be our proton acceptor. The water, on the other hand, acts as the base because it accepts the proton. So we have a visual representation. The water acts as a base by accepting a proton from the acid. So here we have the slightly positive hydrogen being attracted to the slightly negative oxygen on the water molecule. And it forms what we call the hydronium ion, which is H3O with a plus one charge. Look at some examples. So we have CH3COOH and water. And the CH3COH is um, organic molecule acetic acid. It loses its hydrogen and becomes the acetate ion and the hydronium ion. Let's look at another one. We have HCl and NH3. Cl is uh, what ends up losing a proton, so it donates the proton to NH3. So HCl is our acid. Cl minus is its conjugate base, NH4 is the base, and NH4 plus is the conjugate acid. Now, H2SO4 um, is sulfuric acid, and it has two hydrogens it can give off. So in this case, what we have is a um, HSO4, so it's already lost one of its hydrogens. It still has a negative charge, and it still has a hydrogen to give up. The OH minus is our base because it's going to be the hydrogen acceptor, the uh, proton acceptor, and HSO4 is the um, proton donor. So we have the acid and its conjugate base, and we have the base and its conjugate acid. The first substance is the hydrogen donor, so they are hydrogen ion donors, so they are the acid. The second substance is the hydrogen ion. Okay, so let's take a look at examples. So here we have HSO3 minus 2 plus water yields HSO3 minus 1 plus OH minus. So we have to identify whether they are proton donors or proton acceptors. So we have eight, or we have SO3 minus 2 on the left. On the right, it gained a hydrogen. So does that make it a proton acceptor or a proton donor? That means it's a proton acceptor. Water, on the other hand, is the one who gave up the proton to become OH minus. So in this case, H2O is the acid, SO3 minus 2 is the base because water transferred to SO3. Let's look at the next example. I'm going to go read it through, and then I'm going to pause it so you can add what you want to and see if you end up with the right answer. So we have NH3 with no charge plus HNO3 with no charge yields NH4 with a plus one charge and NO3 with a minus one charge. 
Remember by definition of the Bronsted Lowry acids and bases that the proton donor is the acid and the proton acceptor is the base. So we take a look at the products. We see that NH4 has a plus one charge, so it gained an electron. NH3, uh, I'm sorry, gained a proton. NH3 became NH4 plus one. So it was the proton acceptor making it the, the base, and this is its conjugate acid. HNO3 gave up a hydrogen, so it was the proton donor, so that makes this the acid, and NO3 minus uh, its conjugate base. The first substance is the hydrogen acceptor, so they're the base. Second substance is the hydrogen donor, so they're the acid in this case. And those examples are not valid for this, but that gives you an idea of a couple of different ideas of what um, acids and bases are. So we don't want to look at acids and bases just as uh, giving up a hydrogen or accepting a hydroxide. We can also look at it as being a proton donor or a proton acceptor.